Today is World Hepatitis Day. Before I begin to discuss Hepatitis C, I would like to give a brief introduction of World Hepatitis Day. World Hepatitis Day is recognized annually on July the 28th to raise the awareness of the problem of viral hepatitis worldwide. This particular day was chosen in honor of Dr. Barack Bloomberg, whose birthday is July the 28th. Dr. Bloomberg and his colleagues discovered the hepatitis B virus in 1967 and invented the first hepatitis B vaccine in 1969. In 1976, Dr. Bloomberg won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for his discovery of the hepatitis B virus. Viral hepatitis is a major health threat globally. There are about 257 million people living with chronic hepatitis B and 71 million people living with chronic hepatitis C worldwide. Hepatitis causes more than 1 million deaths each year. Viral hepatitis is a group of infectious diseases known as hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. Today, I'm going to discuss hepatitis C. Hepatitis C virus is a spherical, enveloped, positive-strand RNA virus. At the left lower corner of this slide is the image of the viral particle as seen by an electron microscope. The hepatitis C virus causes hepatitis C. The hepatitis C virus is transmitted through contact with an infected person's blood. For example, infection can occur by sharing drug needles, razor, toothbrush, or nail clippers with an infected person, getting an accidental stick with a contaminated needle, being tattooed or pierced with contaminated tools or inks, having contact with the blood or open sores of an infected person, being born to a mother with hepatitis C, having unprotected sex with an infected person. It is estimated that 2.4 million people are living with hepatitis C in the United States. Because hepatitis C is a blood-borne disease, you are at increased risk of hepatitis C infection if you are a healthcare worker who has been in contact with infected blood at work, our current or previous HIV drug users have HIV, have had tattoos or body piercings with unsterile equipment, have worked or lived in the prison, were born to a mother with hepatitis C, etc. Hepatitis C virus can cause both acute and chronic hepatitis C. Most people infected with hepatitis C virus have no symptoms. Some people with an acute hepatitis C infection may develop symptoms within one to three months after they are exposed to the virus. These symptoms may include feeling tired, fever, loss of appetite, nausea, abdominal pain, vomiting, gray or clay-colored stools, dark yellow urine, jaundice, or yellowish eyes and skin, joint pain. Acute hepatitis C is a short-term infection. Symptoms can last up to six months. Sometimes your body is able to clear the virus. Most patients progress to chronic infection. About 20 to 30 percent of the patients with chronic hepatitis C will develop cirrhosis within two decades. Some patients will develop end-stage liver disease and liver cancer. Because many people with hepatitis C do not have symptoms and do not know they have hepatitis C, they not only are at risk of developing liver cirrhosis and liver cancer, but also can unknowingly transmit the virus to other people. Screening tests for hepatitis C can lead to early diagnosis and cure of hepatitis C. Currently, it is recommended to screen all pregnant women and everyone between 18 to 79 years old for hepatitis C in the United States. Screening tests start with an antibody test for hepatitis C. If your antibody test is negative, you do not have hepatitis C. If the antibody test is positive, further test for hepatitis C RNA is needed. If your hepatitis C RNA test is negative, 
It indicates that you had previous hepatitis C infection, but have cleared the virus and you do not have hepatitis C currently. If your hepatitis C RNA is positive, you are confirmed to have hepatitis C. Once you are confirmed to have hepatitis C, additional blood tests will help measure the viral load if it was not initially done by the hepatitis C RNA test. Additional blood tests can also help identify the genotype of the virus. Your doctor typically order other tests such as transient elastography or magnetic resonance elastography to estimate the extent of liver cirrhosis caused by hepatitis C infection. Sometimes liver biopsy is needed. Several effective oral antiviral medications have been approved by the FDA for the treatment of hepatitis C. More than 90% of patients with hepatitis C can be cured with 8 to 12 weeks of antiviral treatment. Therefore, early diagnosis and treatment can help reduce the risk of development of cirrhosis and liver cancer and prevent hepatitis C transmission. If you have hepatitis C, you should follow these measures to keep yourself healthy and protect others from getting infected. Stop drinking alcohol. Alcohol speeds the progression of liver disease. Avoid medications that may cause liver damage. Although there is no hepatitis C vaccine available currently, you should always get hepatitis A and hepatitis B vaccination if you are not already immune. Cover any skin wounds or sores. Do not share razors or toothbrushes. Do not donate blood, body organs, or semen. Inform health care workers that you have the hepatitis C virus. Inform your partner of your infection and always use condoms during sex. If you do not have hepatitis C, you can protect yourself from hepatitis C infection by following the precautions below. Do not share drug needles or other drug materials. Always wear gloves if you are going to be in contact with another person's blood or open wounds. If you want to have tattoos or body piercings, Make sure your tattoos and body piercings are performed with sterile equipment and unopened inks. Do not share toothbrushes, razors, or nail clippers. Please also keep in mind that even if you have cleared the virus or you have been cured of hepatitis C infection with medication treatment, you can still be reinfected with hepatitis C. With everyone's awareness of hepatitis C, vigorous screening tests, and effective hepatitis C treatment, there is high hope that we will be able to eliminate hepatitis C by 2030. Thank you for watching.